What's up, guys? So, been out all morning since three. It's now about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, the wind's been blowing, covering up everything. Some of these roads I've been down, I go back down them 10 minutes later and my tracks are covered. But, got out of the wind. We got lucky. Oh, got us a cat track. It's got a little snow blown in it, but it's definitely from uh, last night. So, collar up the dogs and see if we can't get this thing caught. track was a little slow going at first uh, got the rest of the dogs out I can hear red and Zeus and smoke going hopefully these other dogs catch up to me and go Here's the track, walking by this tree, as you can see, it just disappears in this snow. There it is right there, there. These dogs are having to push pretty hard. Finally got this cat pushed out of the flats and out of the wind, so the wind would quit covering up this track with snow. Got it on the hillside and the dogs started really putting the heat on. Uh, till we got up here started hopping logs and going up ledges on us tracks down here and then she just makes a sharp turn starts hopping up ledges on me where the dogs are pushing through hopefully they can get her caught Get up there, just go help her. This is when you know old Belle's been grubbing hard, grubbing rocks. That's her nose bleeding. Well, I don't know how good you can hear me, but uh, dog's got this cat in a tree. At least the collars are throwing tree signal for about 15 minutes solid now. through the rocks all morning long but the truck is back this way so I'm gonna swing back and get the truck a little closer and then we'll hike in and get some video and pictures of this cat <laughs> this wind is ridiculous made it back to the truck uh, dogs pushed through all that rocky nasty stuff and finally got it back in some good snow again and uh, took her way down the canyon and says got her treed they've been treed for about an hour now i snuck back to the truck and headed that way see if i can get closer to them uh, hopefully next time you see me lying in a tree
Well, got the truck as close as I dared to be by myself, but uh, we're only about 350 yards away from the dogs that are treed. Uh, so hopefully we can get in there and see a lion. They've been treed for about an hour and a half now. So. canyon finally got to where I can hear the dogs but the wind's so bad they're only 100 yards away uh, but they sound good and treed so go in and see see what she looks like <laughs> Well, after the old girl jumped, she went the right way for once, and she ran right down, right close to a road. Dogs are all tree just down the road here at 130, 140 yards, so we'll just creep in real slow, see what happens. After she bailed, two young dogs, Zeus and Creek, put the heat on her pretty quick. They got her caught within 400 yards. They just left my older dogs in their dust. But those two are built a little better to run. So that's definitely good for them. That's first jumped lion for Creek. He's seen a few last season when he was just a pup. Barely big enough to go. So this would be really good for him. Get her Zeus. Get her Bell. Boy Red. Get her Red. Go up. Get him, Mel. Are you stuck? 
There you go. Good girl, Val. Well, we're back to the truck. Got the dogs all loaded up. Been a good day. Those dogs worked their butts off for that cat. She looped, went through the ledges, walking logs. She she gave them heck, that's for sure. But in the end, they finished the job and they did a good job. They had her in three different trees because she kept jumping on them. But finally, she stayed in one long enough that we could get some pictures and video and then call the dogs out. So, good day.